Hello Assassins, I am back inside of Eddie's trailer from of course Stranger Things Season 4 and uh, here in Minecraft. I'll be teaching you guys how to build the second part of this trailer today, the final part which is full of the entire interior. So in the first part of course we built all the walls for this inside, we built the exterior of the trailer and now we're ready for, for some furniture. Now if you haven't checked that one out, don't worry, you can check it out with a link in the description below. And um, yeah, once you've built that one, we can get started with today's tutorial. Let's go for it. So as we were just cracking straight on with the build today, I just want to warn you guys that I may uh, mess up slightly just with my materials list. So uh, we might need to grab like certain stairs back uh, and so on and so forth as we go through the tutorial. Um, because there's going to be like obviously many rooms, well a few rooms in this trailer. And um, we're going to be starting with the living area. We're going to take a brown banner some spruce wood stairs, spruce wood slabs, dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood planks, dark oak pressure plates, stripped spruce wood, some mangrove wood, and some pillar quartz blocks as well. Now these are the materials I think we can get started with and they'll make a huge impact on the rest of the build. Heading inside, we'll come into this very sparse looking area, but that is all good. We're gonna take our mangrove wood and we want to go ahead and make sure this lines up to the uh, left side of the door, so over here. And we're also going to make this go along this way. Because it is a wood block, it is textured, meaning that the wood will have two separate directions. It's a bit tricky to see, you kind of have to there you go, anchor it on another block to be able to see the difference. But we're going to make sure that everything goes this way, so along to the other wall, like so. So we're going in width rather than um, sort of length here. Oops, so this is going to be a bit awkward. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> it always does happen to me, this. There we go. So once we get this going over here, we can actually go right to the uh, iron here, and that is not a problem, because this section is mostly... It is. It is all covered up by stairs and whatnot, so we can literally change this entire thing up too, which is beautiful. And then the last layer will be used to fill up some cabinets with and you know there won't be any sort of quartz showing through here so this is going to be really really unique for the rest of the build for now we can take ourselves stripped wood here stripped spruce wood and we're going to go right from the bottom down here and build this one up to the mangrove wood for the living area even through the kitchen area here as well we can always change the floor in the kitchen afterwards but for now we'll do the entire thing with the stripped spruce wood just to keep everything nice and uh, simple mostly for my brain because I'm very very easy to confuse there we go good stuff okay the next thing to do is to take our brown banners we'll go to the main window over here we're gonna stick ourselves one two on both sides and then dangle them down as well like so we'll stick a spruce wood slab just here we're going to go to the other side over here and we're going to take ourselves a dark oak wood plank here one here and then we want to do ourselves three steps one, two and on uh, sorry, two steps and then on this one we just kind of curve it around here before getting to the window just over this way like so so now we have those in there like so we can then go up to this cabinet and we can place a block sorry, a stair on top with another stair on top of that one and that will cover up the quartz in that corner. That is going to be really, really useful just to, you know, make everything look a bit more uh, plain and simple. Then we're going to take ourselves our brown banners again for three on this window over here. We're trying to sort of stop the light from getting in, really. Really sort of using these to our advantage. Then we'll take our spruce wood slab again and we'll place it on the second block just here like so. So one block away from this sort of cabinet we stick it just there for a little seat. Then we're going to build a table that goes here. This is going to be used with an upside down stair and a slab and an upside down stair again. So we need to place a block just here. Anchor an upside down stair to it. Slab. Temporary block this side. Stair on that side upside down. And there we go. Table in front of the window. Two blocks away. Now over here we're going to stick ourselves a sofa. That will be worth three blocks in length with just our stairs like so. Super simple and it looks really cool. At the very top up here, above the window, we'll go ahead and place an upside down stair here, along to the edge of the window here, 
and then we're going to need to place ourselves some blocks coming out from the wall here and going along for oh it is a tricky number to understand let's go for one two three for now just at the table uh, then we'll go for another two just here and then maybe one back this way so we're just before the steps on this wall here uh, that's actually not too bad good stuff we'll take a dark oak pressure plate here and we'll stick one up this side just so we can get in and out of the doors now perfect so the next thing to do is to take our dark oak wood planks next to the sofa here and along to the table for three blocks then we'll skip one and place another here and that should just be underneath the uh, the top cabinets up here we're then going to skip another one and we'll place another one here like so that will leave us with a two block gap which will then become one because we're going to make this into a bit of a a unit as well with the fridge and washing machine and all that sort of stuff so the next thing to do is to take ourselves our pillar quartz block and we'll head into the kitchen area so at the back over here we want to stick ourselves one two just in the corner like so and then we'll stick ourselves another two over here one and we'll stick this one on its side like so perfect okay let's backtrack a little bit just over to the door over here We'll take ourselves our dark oak wood planks. We'll go ahead and stick one here with one besides it. And then we're gonna need to get some slabs in a moment. For now, we'll take ourselves dark oak wood stairs for two here. And then we'll place three above the actual window. One, two, three. A brown banner on this side and one over here. We'll take ourselves a stripped spruce wood block on the cabinet over here in front of the uh, window and then we need to place ourselves two more dark oak stairs to the right of the door then we'll come over here taking ourselves two pillar quartz down from the roof and i'm going to use some quartz bricks for the next ones along but that's fine down here i'm going to stick myself a pillar quartz just there for one so one block away from the uh, stairs I'll do two more upside down stairs over here. This one will have a spruce wood slab on like so. Then I'm going to take myself some... Can I use these materials now? No, you know what? We'll save these for afterwards. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some new materials. But look at what we've done so far. Looking pretty blocky, but that is some good detailing. Okay, so for the next part of the living area, we'll take some dark oak fence. Some orc... Oh, uh, gosh. Or... 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 Or tree frog lights anyways <laughs> the ones that glow like a yellow then we'll take some spruce trap doors some brown stained glass panes some brown carpet a cartography table a bookshelf dark oak wood slabs and some dark oak trap doors as well popping on inside we need to give some light in here let's go over here and place a fence here with a frog light on top then we'll do ourselves a frog light just down from the ceiling here with a brown stained glass pane just like so cool two little lamps in the corner there's also a couple more down the uh, hallway but we'll get onto that in a moment for now if you want to go to here and stick yourself some carpet along this window you want to shift click just so when you get to this um blast furnace <laughs> you know you're not gonna open it up there we go good stuff I forgot the name of it for a second so now we'll go back to this other side so this side over here with the unit we're going to place ourselves a cartography table just here actually I'm going to move myself this um, slab along by a block so I'm just going to move it here like so then I'll take my cartography table here that looks better then we'll take ourselves a bookshelf here we'll take a dark oak wood slab here a slab away another one and a slab away for a third one just for a three block shelf just like so we'll stick ourselves a dark oak trap door here with a dark oak wood slab on top well on top of the next block along we're then going to go uh go to the kitchen again yes we're going to go ahead and stick ourselves a cartography table in this space just here and a dark oak trap door on this uh plank just here like so you can also stick one on the quartz over here and then a dark oak wood slab on the uh, quartz 
besides it as well. Okay then, brown carpet will then go on this one, just a block to the left there. And then we're going to do ourselves some more materials just around this area too. If you want to go ahead and take yourself some brown carpet still, actually we can do this whilst we're here. Let's also take some dark oak fence gates, swapping out for the fence that we had. And we'll stick three here, but open them up. And then we're going to need to shift or crouch click to place ourselves brown carpet on top of all three of them just here. A little bit of a difficult section, but there we go. Once that is done, you can then go over to the, I'm just looking at this real quick, the other side and we'll get some more materials. Perfect. Okay. Phew. That was actually simpler than I thought it would be. <laughs> I was overcomplicating it for myself. Oh, if you want to take yourself a spruce trap tool just next to the table there like so, and then you fold up one here and one here on the seat like that as well. And now we can get some more materials. Let's go for it. So let's next take ourselves some oak fence gates, some item frames, some paintings, a mangrove trap door, some spruce trap doors, a note block, birch fence, some uh, pearlescent frog lights, and some jungle trap doors as well. Let's firstly take ourselves the oak uh, fence gates, placing one here and open. On top of it facing the slab, we'll stick another one and open, and then we'll climb on the bookshelf and place another one this way, shifting your crouch clicking and making it open towards the door at the bottom. We then want to take ourselves the item frame just here. We're going to stick one in the top corner up here on that quartz bricks. And then we're going to take ourselves the mangrove trap door on the front of the stripped spruce block there. We'll fold down some spruce trap doors on both sides of it. And then we have a TV. Don't place one on top, of course, because we have the brown banner there uh, kind of preventing us from doing it. We'll put a note block just beside it. And then we'll come over here, placing a birch fence with a pearlescent frog light on top. And some jungle trap doors folded on these two sides with one on top, leaving this one blank. We'll then go down to this upside on stair and stick another one the exact same, just here. However, if you want to change out the frog light for one of these frog lights, then you could of course do that. Uh, I did on my original one, but I'm not too certain why. I think it's because in the show, we do see sort of like uh, a fainter glow at the bottom down here, but I don't know if that's just the cinematography or it is actually like that in the real thing. So uh, I'm kind of keeping it as show realistic as possible. So if you want to do that too, then go for it. There we go, good stuff. So this painting just here gets a bit awkward. We have to knock out the glass and the block above it to place a one by one painting on here. I'm going to try and get the one that looks like uh, a sort of an out of window view. And then I'm also going to place one above this doorway. Um, another bright one about that one, that'll do. And then we'll just go ahead and grab the uh, blocks back for this area using our fence case to do it. So just replace these and there we go. Good stuff. So now that we have these materials sort of used up, let's take our item frames and we want to go across to the living area just over here. We'll take two item frames above the bookshelves and then we'll go right the way along to the corner over here and above the stair. We'll stick another one by one painting over on this one. That one will do. And then we'll take another two rows of three item frames down that side like so. And one item frame on the uh, the block just there. Good stuff. This is for the uncle's sort of hat collection. So Eddie's uncle has this huge hat collection in the front of the trailer. And it took me a little bit of um, time to notice it, to be honest, when I was like really inspecting the scenes for the details and stuff. I was like, oh, blimey. I didn't even notice that. I was just kind of looking at um, when Chrissy is, you know, kind of being attacked there. So, yeah, that's uh, it's a funny detail, but there we go. So, yeah, that's all good. That looks actually pretty good. I'm just seeing if we can use any more materials whilst we have them. But um, I don't think so. We're going to have to place blocks to place some more stuff, if that makes sense. So, for now, we are off the hook. Oh, you could... Ah, oh, no, we can't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, we can place one, but no, not just yet. Let's get some more materials, guys. For a really quick addition to our item frames, we just take a bowl and then a bunch of helmets, including a turtle shell, uh, just here like so. 
then we'll grab a dark oak sign too. We'll pop on into the trailer. We'll stick ourselves a bowl here on the side, diagonally facing the person sat here. And then we'll go ahead and surround all of these item frames with some helmets. I think I just put one on, didn't I? Oh no. <laughs> I bet it was the turtle shell. The one that is most embarrassing. Oh, I didn't. Okay, phew. <laughs> we'll stick a dark oak sign here, hence not putting a trapdoor on this uh, lamp. And then we'll stick ourselves two signs on each of the ups and downstairs with an open and closed bracket on them to represent the sort of uh, drawers like so. So we'll do the same up here. And we sort of kill a few birds with one stone. Only, you know, metaphorically. There we go. Phew. Good stuff. All right, let's get some more material. So for the kitchen space over here, we'll take some smooth quartz block, some smooth quartz stairs, a dark oak fence gate again, some N rods, some mud brick stairs. Oh, is this for the first time? For the first time. Good stuff. Some dark oak trap doors, some flower pots, and some late uh, oh, some light grey concrete. It's not for the first time. Some top snow as well. Let's go ahead and take ourselves an N rod over here with a mud brick stair on top of it like so. We'll then take ourselves some trapdoors along the bottom of this kind of blocked area and then one folded on the side there like so. That looks good. Perfect. Then we'll take ourselves some smooth quartz block placing them in here for these three. Well four like so. I'm going to knock out that one just there for now. I'm going to take myself one, two, three in here and this block will be filled in with a crafting table afterwards. We'll take ourselves a couple rows of light grey concrete just here for just four blocks in total with two quartz stairs on top of them. We'll then take smooth quartz block right the way to the ceiling here, right the way to the back corner over here and then we're going to take some smooth quartz stairs upside down, sorry, upside down here and then we're actually going to take ourselves one, two ups down here, and then smooth quartz block in there. And we'll actually stick one in there just to finish it up, like so. That way that will allow us to place ourselves some dark oak fence gate in the corner down here. Super awkward to open and close because we need to open it from the back. So you sort of have to... Okay, you... <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare. You have to sort of go outside and then like look at the window and then sort of break in on roughly where it's going to be so it's just here like so and we'll fix that afterwards the reason we open it that direction is because we want to stick ourselves n rods next to it for one two uh, that are going to be sort of back to back like so and they need to look like they're being grabbed by the uh, the fence gate here so we open this one the other direction uh, like so so it's like a little under counter light there but uh, yeah, super awkward to place. And then we'll take ourselves flower pots here, here, and one on the corner here, just for some cups or something. And then we'll grab ourselves some. Let's just double check. Nope, we're all looking good. We will grab ourselves an item frame, which we can actually take ourselves this bowl over here and place it in this one up here, and then grab the item frame from it too. So if we just go ahead and destroy that a second, grab this, we'll place the uh, bowl from the other one back in a second. Placing item frames on three. One, two, three here as well. Uh, I think there's a couple over the fridge too. One, two. There's one around the corner here, and there's one on the fridge door just there as well. Now we'll grab that bowl back and replace it, and keep the bowl in the new spot as well. Perfect. I know this is very, very confusing and busy. I apologize guys, but you're doing a really good job. Yeah, that's looking good so far. Okay, I think we should get some more materials and see if we can complete this kitchen. Oh, before we do though, take your top snow and just go ahead and stick these on their sides like this. Maybe these ones closer to each other. Oops, so they look like cabinets. And then we'll do the same here. Uh, on this fridge door, don't place one. We'll save that for a painting, which we can also grab also here, like so. Uh, grab any painting and just stick it on its side around there like so. So it looks like a little drawing on the fridge or a note maybe or something like that. So uh, yeah, that's quite important, but uh, yeah, no, it looks really good. 
Brilliant, okay, let's get some more. So for this next part, we'll take a crafting table, a cauldron, a tripwire hook, some black stained glass, some polished blackstone buttons, blackstone wool, block of iron, white shulker box, and some paper as well. We'll stick ourselves our block of iron here with a shulker box on top and the piece of paper in this sort of wisdom frame here. We'll stick our wall in this corner and then we'll stick a black stained glass here with a stone button on, sorry, a polished black stone button on, like so. The cauldron here with the uh, tripwire hook there. Feel free to fill that with water if you want to as well. And then we'll stick our crafting table in here like so. Now we will need another bowl, <laughs> an item frame, a loom, a tripwire hook, some normal train tracks or rail, some furnaces, quartz bricks, some smooth quartz slabs, and some pillar quartz blocks again. Please remember guys, by the way, if I do go too quickly or I'm speaking too fast or anything, remember to pause the video, and if you need to ask me any questions, feel free to do so in the comments down below. Let's take ourselves the item frame and place one here with the bowl in it, just normally, like so. <laughs> I overcomplicated that. And then we'll take ourselves our loom for two here, like so, just normal facing like so. And then the tripwire hook goes on the side here for the telephone. We need to go ahead and shift or crouch click to place it just here. Perfect. Then we want to go ahead and stick our furnace here and quartz bricks go above it for two. We'll then go down this way and down to this cabinet over here. We'll take ourselves a quartz brick. We'll do two um, pillar quartz, a quartz brick for three this way. One pillar quartz and a quartz brick besides it. Two pillar quartz below. A quartz brick here, two in here, one pillar quartz there, and we leave a gap of two, even including the window. We'll do ourselves two slabs, another two slabs, and a third two slabs, like so. Perfect. Now that will all be covered up by banners and whatnot, so you won't actually see that area. That is all good. Brilliant. Okay, let me just double check I haven't missed anything. The rail here will go on these looms with some item frames, which again you have to shift click to place. And uh, the rails will go on their sides to make it look like a shelf or something. So, oops. Like so. And here as well. And I think there's actually the oven over here as well. That's why we add in the furnace. Um, but no, that's all good to go. Good stuff. Okay, guys. So let's finish up the details for the kitchen and living area as well as this corridor. Now, when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like very much at all. But this is over half of the trailer done already. So we'll take some cobwebs some black and some white banners, some light grey dye, black dye, white dye, yellow dye, a light grey banner, and some grey dye as well. Now, what is super handy about this tutorial, which I never do in any of my builds, is I've incorporated a loom into the entire thing, so we don't have to place one. We can just literally go in here and use it to our advantage. We will in a second. For now though, if you want to go back to the living area, and on the ceiling on the fourth item frame at the top, one, two, three, four, we go back in for two, and on three, we'll do like an L-shaped corner for the gate up here, like so. If you want to add in some carpet down here for a mattress, for example, and then maybe some chain coming down from the ceiling for the rope, feel free to do that. That will probably look really cool. Or even some um, white stained glass panes just there, kind of dripping from the ceiling, so it looks like the rope going through the two uh, the portal there but that would be really really cool let me know what you guys come up with in the comments down below but back to the banners over here we'll go ahead and take our black banner just normally here and a white banner normally here then we want to go ahead and place ourselves two more white banners on here normally and one on this side just here normally now this is where the fun comes in we have to convert some of these into different things now we're going to go ahead and take our white banner in the loom first with our yellow dye and then we'll do the top down sort of dyeing like so the yellow gradient we'll take this out and place it on here and that's kind of like a manky sort of <laughs> banner now just there now i'm going to pick block another fresh white banner put it in my loom put the black dye in my loom uh take myself the line across the middle and the top like oh no sorry just across the middle so the black first take it out, take my black dye out and take my white dye in, then stick myself my line through the middle which is called the white pail and then we'll take ourselves a white sort of 
uh, border around it just like so and this will handy this will be handy and look like cupboard doors like so so we'll go ahead and stick one oops my bad I'll put that back in a second one up here like so and then there's going to be one at the bottom of the cabinet just here under the furnace and there's also going to be one in the kitchen uh, just on the unit over here like so sort of dangling down from the roof there now we're not quite done with the banners yet we need to take our light grey banner put that in the loom put the grey dye in the loom go ahead and use this sideways sort of line here called a if I can get to it grey pale sinister grey dye comes out light grey uh, dye comes in we do the border again and that is a handle for the fridge door just there like so now I'm going to set myself a clean white banner back <laughs> and replace my mistake I just made there just uh, by destroying this one here and there we go we've actually completed up these three areas now which is perfect that is really really good great work guys let's head on down this way and get some of these rooms completed too so now going down to Ellie's uncle's room on the way past we'll take a stone uh, sorry a dark oak button and we'll stick it just next to the door here or we'll stick another one just next to this door here or even in the middle it's up to you guys I'm gonna stick mine there and one over here and then we'll stick a ladder on this one just here these are supposed to represent the actual buttons for the lights and then of course the ladder here is just to represent a little shelf at the end there in Eddie's uncle's room which is the first door on the right here we go on in of course we have no floor and you're thinking oh my gosh that sucks we're gonna need to grab some brown carpet one thing I did forget <laughs> let's take out our ladder and grab some brown carpet here and let's fill in the floor just in here like so and then we'll head across to Eddie's room and we'll do the exact same even under this wall over here just like this we get this entire thing filled up that'll be good to go uh, one thing I didn't do before we watched the final um, episodes in volume 2 is I forgot to add the ceiling vents in so there's actually a ceiling vent in Eddie's room and there's one in the hallway down here so if you want to go ahead and add those in with some iron trap doors maybe feel free to do that too okay let's take ourselves the barrel first we'll stick it on its side on the quartz br uh, bricks at the bottom with a lantern on top shifting or crouch clicking to place it there red bed here spruce trap door folded up at the bottom of it a bookshelf here with one candle on like so and then a bookshelf at the uh, sort of next layer up here like so we're going to make this into a few candles maybe three yeah that looks good and then we'll go up to the top up here we're going to stick ourselves a dark oak trap door folded down here block away we'll do another one just here and then what you can actually do whilst you're here is take yourself some paintings from previous sections grab a painting and we're going to stick ourselves two paintings in this room a one by one here so I have to knock some of the wall through like so and then a two by one just here as well so I'm going to get the ocean for this one because of course we're building an adult's room so we want some you know really sort of adult looking pa paintings there perfect okay now we're going to grab the final materials for this room and then move on to the next one so now we're going to the second door down uh, actually before we do let's take a spruce sapling and a flower pot and going in here on the top of the bookshelf we'll just place a little plant up there then we'll go ahead and stick a verdant um, frog light just in the middle of the room here so in the rough sort of middle of the room so that's two blocks in from the window here we'll go one and two blocks in will be the door perfect and then we can close up the uncle's room and say that is done just there then we'll go into the bathroom which is the next door along taking ourselves an iron trap door a pearlescent frog light a hopper a block of iron a weighted pressure plate the iron one and some iron bars too we'll go ahead and stick blocks of iron here under the window for two a weighted pressure plate on top of it a hopper out from the toilet there a iron trap door on the toilet lid just there up on the ceiling in the middle two blocks along stick yourself a pearlescent fog light and then we'll do an iron trap door just here like so then we'll come over to this way and we'll take ourselves uh, on the second block down from the ceiling we'll go f oh no sorry on the block that is the ceiling level on the lowest part of it take four trap doors you have to stand on the toilet for this a little bit of a gross job but there we go <laughs> and then we'll take ourselves iron bars going up the side of the toilet here and to the ceiling like so 
cool. It is an old-fashioned toilet, of course, so we have to add in that little detail in there. Let's grab some more materials. Now we'll take some quartz bricks, some smooth quartz stairs, some glass panes, some white banners, a painting again, a tripwire hook, a cauldron, some chains, and an item frame once again. These are the MVP in Minecraft for interiors. I swear to God, they are so, so useful. We'll take our quartz bricks for the floor here. Two layers, so up to the toilet. Then we'll go for a third layer. And then we'll cut off this corner, so we'll only go for two just in here. That is because we're going to use ourselves some stairs here. And make a sort of shower area just here. We need to make sure these stairs connect up into a square shape. Which is very awkward, but there we go. Once it's in there like so, that is brilliant. We'll then go up to the second block down from the trapdoors, of course. And stick a tripwire hook here. We'll do one on this wall back here with a cauldron in front of it. Again, feel free to fill it up with water if you want to. We'll then take one, two chains down from the uh, bathroom ceiling here for the chain pool toilet. We'll stick an, a white banner just here for a towel and a one by one painting up here. For this one, I recommend just sticking yourself blocks around where you're going to place it so you don't have to destroy the wall. I'm going to do myself uh, this painting just here. Perfect. Like so. Good stuff. And then we'll build our shower sort of cubicle here by taking two glass panes here, another two, and a final two. One at the very top here, and then leave these two open at the bottom. Lovely. That actually looks really cool. And then finally, the item frame goes next to the toilet there. And you can even take yourself a bit of paper from the top of the uh, shelf there, or you can grab yourself a scroll, like a banner scroll. So if you go right down to the banners over here, uh, you'll see these scrolls here uh, that are the banner patterns, uh, banner patterns even, and you can stick it in there for like a roll of toilet paper, roll of toilet, <laughs> like so, because it looks like it's got the sort of, you know, the bunched up part at the top there. Um, but yeah, it's up to you guys. And then last details for this bathroom, just so we can complete it now, is you can take some white carpet and just go around sort of the last blocks here, the ones that you're not going to use for the shower or the toilet. And that is complete. That is all complete. Time to work on the main man himself's room. Eddie's room, of course. So now onto the final room of the trailer, the one with the actual extractor fan outside of it. We'll take ourselves paintings, some dark oak wood stairs, some barrels, and, oh uh, gosh, and <laughs> this fog light, <laughs> the frog light, sorry, the one with the sort of yellow glow. I really need to learn how to say that word. Some blast furnaces, a dark oak trap door, some pillar quartz block, spruce trap doors, and some grey wool as well. Let's go ahead and take our dark oak wood stairs, and they make up the majority of this room. We'll go for one, two, three, four here. We'll stick a barrel on its side besides the window just here. We'll do ourselves one of these frog lights in the corner. We'll then turn the stairs along for another four. We'll do a blast furnace just here. Then we'll go along to the corner down this way. We will go ahead and knock out one, two, three blocks just here, taking ourselves another pillar just up here, but it's also gonna be sideways. So we'll just knock that block through now. Now we place it sideways. We'll then go ahead and leave this empty for the cupboard spacing. We'll come to this wall over here. We'll go a block in from the door and place three ups and downstairs. We'll then do a bed that'll be two by six, two by, no, two by three, sorry, but um, six blocks in total. There you go, of the gray wall. And then we'll, add, we'll then do ourselves two more dark oak wood stairs up to down just there. And if you want to take yourself a couple more um, pillar quartz, you can on this side, but I'm going to leave mine empty apart from the top, which I'll just build in now. Cool, and that is going to be for the sort of walking wardrobe that Eddie has in his room. Oh, and another barrel down here if you want to add in a little detail of the sort of drug supply that goes in here. So, um, yeah, just a little bit of extra detailing. Good stuff. Let's take ourselves this spruce trap door, and it is going to go on the cupboard down here, just to make sure that we have everything looking like the cupboard door. So for it, we just want to go ahead and go for these ones at the top. Fold it down along it. Then we need to go down to the bottom for these two. Then we'll go on top of them, just here, fold it up. 
and here as well followed up for these two like so but you can knock that one through if you want to and just have those there then you'll be able to see sort of the inside of the cupboard cool that looks good that looks really really good uh, now for our dark oak trap doors we just want to stick one here with another frog light to the right side of it here and then we'll do a one by one painting here and one by one painting here let's stick some blocks around these just again so we know you know there's going to be sort of no mistakes there like so awesome okay we need some more materials for the room we'll take another painting because i'm a donut and forgot one a <laughs> blackstone slab a flower pot some blue carpet some chains to represent the handcuffs that um Eddie questionably has on his sort of cupboard here. An item frame, a tripwire hook, a grey banner and a light grey banner too. The light grey banners will go in first into the cupboard here on their side and a grey banner here again diagonally on its side like so. We'll take ourselves two item frames on here. The first one will have a tripwire hook on upside down and then the chain just here for the handcuffs like so. We'll stick two blackstone slabs here a flower pot here, a blue carpet on top of the blast furnace for the amp, and then we'll take a 2x2 two two painting here of the skull, like so. That was actually helpful. We'll also do ourselves a tripwire hook on here in a second, so keep the tripwire hook for the time being. Let's get some more materials. Oh, I knocked off the stream, the shroom light. The shroom light? The frog light, even. Shroom light? Where did I get that from? <laughs> the other frog light just there. Let's get some more materials. Now we'll take some light blue glazed terracotta, some red glazed terracotta, some blue glazed terracotta, some purple glazed terracotta, some light grey stained glass, a cyan uh, glazed terracotta and a grey glazed terracotta. We're also going to need a light grey shulker box and an iron trap door. The light grey shulker box goes here, oops sorry stood up, with the iron trap door on top for the radio that Eddie has on his bedside table. We'll then take the light grey stained glass and we'll go for two blocks and two blocks just here a block away from the cupboard we're going to knock out these blocks down here now uh, including that corner one down there we'll take two light blue up the side we'll go for a red down here a blue here red here and a blue up here we'll then do purple just here we'll do ourselves a cyan here with a grey besides it a blue here a grey just here and a cyan at the top of the uh, item frames up here and that is all just posters of bands and things like that that Eddie has on his wall okay brilliant now then we're gonna grab some more materials yeah we are finally down to the last materials of this tutorial we'll take some top snow some acacia trap doors some dark oak signs some tripwire hooks black white and grey dye a grey banner and a white banner as well Top snow goes on here for pillows. We'll make the left one slightly taller just so it looks like a pillow just there. Acacia trap doors come down from the ceiling and they go sort of above the windows for blinds here. We'll take blank dyke, uh, dark oak signs around the bed like so. And then a tripwire hook goes on this one just above the frog light here. We'll then take our banners and we'll go up to our looms. We'll go for the white, ba uh, the white banner first of all, yep. Placing that one in there like so. We'll then take ourselves a black piece of dye in here. We'll find ourselves a black bend, which I think could be one of these ones, but I'm not certain. That's bend sinister. That's black bend, there we go. And we'll take that out. We'll go ahead and make ourselves a black inverted chevron, which is one of these ones. I'm pretty sure it's the top one, just like that. So a black inverted chevron like so and then we want a white border around the edge of it like so and this almost looks like a sort of kiss logo you know the the 80s band kiss i think they're an 80s band but uh, that's what we're kind of representing up there with those four banners like so then we'll take our gray banner we'll go into our loom over here and i need to give a huge huge thank you and shout out to an awesome creator i found online so I was trying to do a bit of research of how I could build the uh, the guitar banner because I wanted to have a proper represented guitar in Minecraft and um, yeah I found a legend online which I'm going to have to put the link to their 
banner tutorial in the description because I can't find it on my phone at the moment. But a huge thank you to them. It is not my work, guys. It is theirs 100%. So thank you to them for making this possible. We're going to use a grey banner. They used a black one. Uh, sorry, a red banner with a like a black border. But we're going to make our guitar grey instead. So we'll do ourselves grey banners in here. We'll take ourselves black dye. We'll build the black borgia first of all this time. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to do ourselves a chief fess. Almost messed up already. Chief fess like so. Then we want to do a black satire, which is the um, sort of cross across it. Saltire, sorry. Then we'll do ourselves a red, well, not red in our case, a grey um, perfess inverted, which is going to be the one up from the bottom. We'll then take ourselves a red cross, or a grey cross in our case, like so. And then we want to take ourselves a black Borgia indented, which we don't have this at the moment because it is a banner pattern. So we'll come out of our loom for a second. So it is this banner pattern just here, the Borgia indented. Grab that one, open back up your loom. The banner goes in that we're messing with, the banner pattern goes in, and so does our black dye in here. And look at that. There you have yourselves a guitar looking awesome. And if you want to quickly finalize it, Stick yourself a black border on it like so to make it a bit smaller and uh, very more, you know, much more like a guitar. And just stick this on the mirror up here like so, shining in all its Eddie glory like that. And there we have it. We have ourselves Eddie's trailer built in Minecraft. Well, there we go, guys. That is how to build the entire Eddie Munson's trailer from Stranger Things in Minecraft. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial this two-part tutorial, I really do appreciate your dedication and support when building this thing. I, I, you know, it's been a mental, it really has been mental. And interiors are always a bit of a nightmare to build, but thank you for your patience in getting to the end of the video. If you did enjoy this one, guys, please be sure to drop a like on it. That would really, really help me out so much. And um, I promise you I'll be bringing you some more Strain of Things Season 4 content very soon. I'm working on so many different projects right now. It is unbelievable. So yeah, please be sure to drop a like. If you are interested in staying around for those future Stranger Things Season 4 tutorials and more of my tutorials in general, please consider joining the Assassin Hood today for free by subscribing. That would be epic. And if you are on social media, so am I. Please drop me a follow with the links in the description below. I tried to look up who made the guitar banner, by the way, and it is from an, anon an anonymous source on uh, Planet Minecraft. So, um... Big shout out to that person, whoever you are, thank you so much. Uh, you really, really did save my tutorial here, so thank you for that. But um, yeah, until the very next time, guys, have an excellent rest of your day. Go and enjoy your day now. You have really worked hard for this one, so go and chill for a bit. Take good care, have a good one, and goodbye for now.